Welcome to Sanders Flex Tree Saddlery. My name is Sarah Sanders and today we're going to go over how to properly clean and oil your flex tree saddle. Now today we're showing you the hybrid model with the western rigging, but you'll still clean your lightweight model and the other models the same. And basically anything that's leather is what you want to clean and oil and the two places you want to be careful not to get any soap and oil are the seat and the bucking rolls if you have bucking rolls. These are made out of suede, but pretty much other than that, everything else you can clean and oil. So we'll start by kind of taking apart the saddle a little bit. If it needs a deep cleaning, you're best off taking everything apart and cleaning and oiling each piece. Some of you, your back cinch is put on a little differently. Some of you have rings, some of you have this insert rigging. So we just pull this out, pretty simple. And I like to keep it very simple when I clean an oil. I use glycerin soap. You can get it in a bar or you can get it in the spray. And what I like to do is get my rag wet with just a little bit of water, get a good old glob of glycerin soap, and you wanna clean off all the dirt and muddy parts. And you want to try to kind of use more soap than water. It'll help keep your leather from drying out. But absolutely do not clean your saddle without using some form of soap. You may have your favorite kind of leather soap that you want to use. But like I said, my favorite is just a good old bar of glycerin soap. After you've cleaned your saddle everywhere, back cinch, you even want to check underneath, clean the uh, back side of the fenders. You can even pull some of these other parts out, get everything super clean and tidy. After you have it completely cleaned on both sides, then you can start the oiling process. My favorite kind of oil is 100% Needs Foot Oil. This just happens to be the Feeblings brand. There's also some other great brands out there. Um, and I prefer the 100% Needs Foot Oil because I find the other Needs Foot compounds leaves a little bit of a film on the saddle. But if you have, again, your favorite type of oil you want to use, that'll work out just fine. And just like anything, when you start to oil, you want to start out on the underside, just put a little bit on your rag, or as I've discovered using a paintbrush, you can pour a little bit of oil in a cup, dab it with this paintbrush, and then you can just lightly brush it on all over the saddle. And you can oil the undersides of the saddle, again, the undersides of the fenders, anything that's leather you want to give it a light coating of oil after you get your light coating of oil on if you have a nice sunny day you can let the saddle sit outside for a little bit and kind of absorb the oil just be careful not to leave your saddle out for a couple of hours or it's going to completely dry out the leather now after you get your saddle cleaned and oiled to your specifications you have to put everything back on so we'll show you on this side We'll take this girt all the way off. Sometimes the hardest part is just trying to get all the pieces back on while you're learning those pieces. So I find it's easiest just to start with your back cinch. So you'll take your back cinch just like this, go from the inside to the outside, and then back through here. Then putting your girt back on, You'll pick up your latigo here, and same thing, start from the inside to the outside. And if this is really confusing, you can even set the saddle up on your horse to try to put all your pieces back together. So once we go up through this hole and come back down, now we're going to put the girth through the buckle. Then we'll take this extra stuff, and we have a slot here. And again, we have these extra slots and pieces. That way, the bird sits very flat against your horse, so then when we have the stirrup down, you feel like your leg is right on your horse instead of being pushed out to the side with having a big bulky knot. Now we'll put our back cinch on, and we just want this strap to face forward because it's gonna clip to the girth. And that little strap is very important if you don't hook this back to the front girth and you saddle up and go for a ride, this back cinch could slide back and then all of a sudden you'll find yourself in the middle of a rodeo. So we don't want a bucking bronco, so you want to make sure this strap gets clipped again. Now we'll clip this back up. 
And then the same thing with your breast collars. Some of the breast collars are nylon. Some of the breast collars are leather. The breast collar on this saddle happens to be nylon, so instead of cleaning it and oiling it with the oil and the soap, you can just toss this in a bucket of water with a little bit of Dawn dish soap and give it a good scrub and then it's ready to go. And if you happen to have a leather breast collar, all parts of the breast collar are leather except for the buckles, so you want to clean and oil all of those parts. Well, that's all for now, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video.